Hey everybody. So I just wanted to do a quick video on Nest and their API. If you haven't heard, Nest has decided that they're shutting down their API come August 31st. So this is going to effectively block Home Assistant from talking to the Nest products. So that's Nest thermostats, smoke detectors, cameras. It's, uh, I'm not happy about it. I think a lot of people are not happy about it. It's, it's seems very official, but I'm not sure, you know, August 31st is a little bit of way out. So there is time hopefully for Google to possibly reverse course, but based on what we've read, based on what I've been reading, I don't think they're going to. So I want to make this video and just talk about how this is going to affect me, how this is going to affect the products that I own, what I'm going to do and, uh, Take it from there. So we've been on Home Assistant's site. Let's take a look over here. So Nest is gonna be shutting down their API. The It's August 31st, 2019. Uh, Paulus uh, wrote some information on sort of the write-up, there's some information on it, there's some examples, there's some actual quotes from Nest that talk about sort of uh, their announcement and that they're going to shut it down. For me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Nest Protects. So I have nine Nest Protects. I have two, um, I have two Nest thermostats. So both of these items, uh, well, all 11 of these items, basically both of these products are going to be locked out of Home Assistant. So this is an issue for me. For me, with the Nest Protects, it's not as big of a deal. So I have basically, I have Protects that just give me information. So they just give me information. They just let me know are they online? Are they working? If there's ever a fire or they detect smoke, the Nest app will actually do its thing. But for one, with no internet access, no power, no anything, the sirens will go off. So it wakes people up, it does its job. I'm okay with this sort of being outside of the home assisted control. Um, I'm okay with this being a dedicated, isolated machine. I have nine of them. It was a significant investment. They're good for 10 years. I have a blog post that talks about how if you have a smoke detector over 10 years old, be sure to check it because the chemicals in it will go bad and you, you may have them up there. They may have power lights, but they're effectively not doing anything. So you should always, I think it's, it's a worthwhile investment to invest in good smoke detectors. It's your house, your family. Um, these are important things. So, so I'm okay with the Nest Protects being separate. My issue is the Nest thermostats. I think these, uh, for me, I have, I have a lot of automations. I mean, if we look at my repo, I have 22, I have at least 22 automations for Nest Protects and for Nest uh, thermostats. And honestly, the Protects are basically, it, it, they're not, there's not that much automation in here. Um, it's really just setting it up. There's some, there's some emergencies that, you know, if we detect some stuff, we do some, some, we do send messages. Most of these are going to be the thermostat. That's actually the biggest problem that I think I'm going to have when I lose access to the thermostats, um, are the automations. So for one, there's speech automations. When, whenever the thermostats turn on or turn off, I do a speech notification to let us know really when they turn on, because I want to, I want people, I want the, uh, we, we want to know when the thermostat, when the AC is running. So we live in Florida, so we want to know when the air conditioner is running. So this way, if any windows are open or if we're doing something, we just want to know that we're using energy. So I find it's a good reminder that when the thermostats turn on, we do a, a little voice notification. So that's going to break. All voice notifications are going to break if we can no longer access the thermostats. The other thing is I control the thermostats. So I don't do a lot of control. Obviously there's no control for the protects. So those smoke detectors, not a problem. 
they'll continue to operate on their own. But the thermostats, we have window sensors, we have door sensors, um, we have presence detection. So some of the fundamental stuff that I do are if a window's open for more than five minutes or a door is open for more than five minutes, we turn the air conditioners off. Um, the assumption is either someone left it on and we don't want to run the air conditioner or we purposely opened up windows, it's nice outside, so I just don't want the air conditioner to run while those windows are open. All that functionality breaks, which just stinks. Um, I think that's going to force me to go to Echobee. That seems like a good replacement. Now, that's still dependent on a cloud API. We don't have direct access, or Home Assistant doesn't have direct access to those Echobee sensors. I know there's some do-it-yourself uh, solutions. I think Dr. Z's or Rob and some of the other guys may have done some videos. Matter of fact, if I see some videos, I'll link them up here. So just look up here. We'll try to link to some of those do-it-yourself thermostats to replace the Nest. But honestly, the Nests, they just look nice. I, I like the way they physically look. So I like the way they look in the house. I like the decor. I like the way they look. The Echo Bee looks nice. I wish it was round and brighter, but I think for what I'm looking for, that Echo Bee 4 will be a good, uh, a good replacement. It also has remote sensors, which is nice. We have a bigger house, so we can put some remote sensors um, around uh, since, since the two thermosets that I have are in the main areas on the first floor and the second floor. But yeah, I think that's what's, uh, th this is how the Nest API closure is going to affect my smart automation. I don't do a lot of voice control over the thermostats. What's interesting about these thermostats is for the most part, it's set it and forget it. Uh, as far as the actual functionality of Nest, uh, I don't, it's a learning thermostat, but most of the intelligence comes from Home Assistant. It's me turning things on and off. So again, presence detection is another thing we'll lose out on that when no one's in the house, we'll be able to shut down or put the, not shut down, but put the, the thermostats in eco mode. Um, we can't do that. We're also gonna lose if this, if this, then that access as well. So there's not even, we can't even use web hooks. So for me, unless things change, unless Google reverses course like Logitech did, unless they leave this, this um, API open, uh, I'll be switching out my thermostats. I'm gonna wait. I don't think, I think it's, they just announced it at Google I.O. a little while ago. So I think there's some time for things to correct, but uh, come summertime, come July, if things are still the, if they're still set to shut down, I'm gonna swap out the thermostats. The HVAC stuff is really important to home automation. So those are my thoughts. I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, I, I think most people use HVAC as a core part of their home automation. So let me know how you're using it. And if you're Nest customers, let me know. I'm just very curious what you're gonna do. Are you going to switch out? I think if I had Nest cameras, this would be an even bigger problem. Thankfully I don't, we have generic cameras. Um, you might see a video pop up, just jump on that and you can see my camera solution. Uh, but yeah, have a good one. Take care, bye.